So in the previous part, we made this little animation, but there's still a tiny problem. We haven't done the legs yet. And why did I skip these? Because, well, they deserve a whole chapter on their own because there's a couple of issues. Let me close everything. I'm going to keep the animation as this. And I'm going to focus on the legs, fully on the legs right now. I'll press the solo button right here. So here's the issue if I set it up the exact same way as I did the arms. So if I click the foot and I'll snap it to the lower leg and then the lower leg, I'll parent that to the upper leg. Do the same for the foot on the right to the lower leg and the lower leg to the upper leg. So now I can really easily do this, which is great. And that looks very good. So if I want to have him like sit or jump or whatever, that looks pretty good. But there's one issue. If I want him to bend his knees, I have to do this right there. But now he's off the ground. So you might think then, well, I can move it down. But let's animate that and see what happens. So I'm going to select the right foot, press R for rotation, turn on that keyframe, move it forward a little bit, and let's start doing that. Well, first of all, I will also need a keyframe for position. So I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to press Shift P. So I will also get the position transformation. I'm going to click the stopwatch. I'm going to go to the next keyframe. And I guess I'm going to move it down. So if I play that now, you can see, well, his legs are going through the ground because not everything is moving at the same pace. Now, should I, should I fix that on every keyframe? Um, is that how I do it? If I go through now and that's what I've seen people do, if I play it now, you can see, oh, now it's, now it's actually jittering and stuttering. Let me just play that real quick. Oh, that doesn't look good, right? So we don't want that. So one of the solutions would be is to parent it the other way around. So I'm going to set everything to none. I'm just going to test it on this leg. But that also means that the pivot points need to be on the other sides. Now for this, that's fine. Let's put that pivot point all the way down. And for this one, also put it down. And then, well, I would say, well, the upper leg would be on the lower leg and the lower leg would be on the foot. So if I would move that down now, I get this. So let's animate that real quick. I don't need the position anymore. So let's just, just do the rotation, move this down, move this down. And this works pretty well. So if I want to lift this foot, I actually need to animate this part. So this is one way to do it. It is a lot harder to make a walk cycle with it, uh, but it's just one option to do it. So let's do that to the other leg real quick. And then I've showed you the way to do it without the plugin Jug Basel. Turn off solo. Set a keyframe for rotation on these frames as well. Let's go forward in time a little bit. Let's not forget to put the pivot points at the bottom. There we go. And then animate rotation as well. 15 frames. I rotate that as well. And now I can actually animate the position of the torso as well. And move it down a little bit. So if I would play this now. Well, that looks pretty good. Let's do some easing. Press F9. So this is one way to solve that. But there's a good chance that your hips will actually get dislocated at one point and that requires some tweaking. It's still a fine way of doing it. It's, it's, it really depends on what you want to use your character for. But what I would do is in this case, use Juic Basil or as it's called now, Juic Angela. So go download and install Juic Angela and then it should appear right here under window. Go all the way down and there it is, Juic Angela. Open that up. There it is. I'll make it a little bigger. And like I said, Duke Angela is a free plugin and it's actually made to make character rigs. It also has a lot of nice tools like controlling your easing right here under animation. There are some automated processes, but in this case, I'm just gonna go to the tab bones. I can actually create a whole skeleton if I want for a humanoid. In this case, I just want one humanoid leg. So I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna click leg. And once I click that, it will take some time and then it will create a leg for me. So let's start with this leg. I'm going to turn off the parenting real quick and I'm going to set it to 50% so I can exactly see where those pivots are. I can move these around and when I do, let's do his toe all the way there. Let's put it on his heel though, so somewhere around there. This looks pretty good. And obviously if I move this around, it still won't really work because we want everything to be parented to that body part. So when I created that leg, you can see it also made four layers for me. I'll move those down a little bit so I can put it right above the leg. And I'll say, hey, got the upper leg. Let's parent that to the thigh. Then the lower leg 
let's parent that to calf and then this foot to his foot. Now I don't need the leg tip because again, I haven't created that in Illustrator. I'm gonna keep it with a simple static foot. So if I did it correctly and I move these body parts around, then this will also move. There we go. So that should look very good. But I just made a tiny mistake. It should have been on his heel, which means I need to control Z that. That's why I always test. Now I can't move this around anymore. I need to unparent the foot real quick. None, then move it up a little bit. I am gonna keep his toe right there. I'm gonna parent the foot back to the foot bone. Let's test it out one more time. And that looks pretty good. Control Z that out. I'm gonna turn up the opacity again. I'm gonna select all these bones and I'm gonna press this really magic button called auto rig. It will do a lot of magic. Don't worry about it. Just wait for it a little bit. And as you can see, you can see the little foot icon right now. But if I pick that little foot icon up, you can actually see that right now it is rigged. That's perfect. Sadly, it also made a lot of nonsense layers that we never gonna touch again. That controller right there, that's a C for controller, that is perfect, but we actually wanna hide all these. And it actually partly already did. So I'm gonna press the hide all layers for which is shy, switch is set. I'm gonna click that real quick. And actually I wanna get rid of these as well. This guy, don't wanna be bothered with them anymore. And there we go, looks pretty good. Let's do that to the other leg. I'm gonna select all the body parts. Let's turn off their parenting for now. I'm gonna make a hominoid leg. This is a magic. It made another leg. Put it where I want it to be. We can make sure that they're on the correct spots. Right there, my ankle is over there. Normally, the ankle would be separated in the shoe. There we go. Turn that opacity all the way up again. I'm gonna grab those bones right there, all these four bones. Be careful not to select the other leg as well. Put it right on top so it's easier to connect them. Lower leg to the calf. The foot would be the foot and the upper leg would be the thigh. So if I test this out, all right, I just got the bone selected. Looks pretty good. That looks pretty good as well. Select all of them, auto rig. Yes, I want to hide the layer controls. A lot of magic happens. Perfect, we can hide these as well. We don't need those anymore. We just want that little foot. Now let's test it. Yes, it works. So now I just have to animate the position and maybe animate the foot rolls right here so I can really easily See how much control I over, have over that right now. There's a lot of upsides to that. It will become a little bit more complex, but you have more control and I do like that. Now, obviously I can actually create a whole skeleton, but again, I said like it makes After Effects a little slow and the only issue most of the time is just with the legs. If you want to have a full skeleton body, you can actually also do that, but actually creating a whole skeleton with the human simple or any of the other presets. For now, I just want these two bones. I'm gonna select them both and I actually hit them. So I'm gonna turn off shy again so I can see all of them. I'm gonna select these two bones, look it up right there. And I'm gonna add them to the torso, which is this body part. So if I move it down now, you can actually see him move up and down real easy. And that's about the easiest way to actually do it. So the downside is After Effects might get a little bit slower if you do whole skeleton. If you just do the legs, then setting it up it takes a little bit of time, but then your life is a lot easier. So for example, if I turn Shy back on right now and our animation was already getting there, I can actually press the position on the keyframe now and maybe even the rotation. And I can move forward in time. I can move his body for us a little bit and see that it actually works fairly well. Give that some easing. There we go, hello. And then you should move back. And once my rig is completely done, I can even turn these bones off. So let's do that as well. We don't actually need to see these. Everything with the B in front of it, we don't need to see it. Let's turn it all off and let's turn Shy back on again. This is actually quite nice to have the feet right here so we can actually make him walk later. If I click on the icon right here, I can actually move that and I open up icon, and I move to the side. It will work just exactly the same, but then I can actually see the foot very well. Don't worry, these won't render because they are on a guide layer right there, they're on a guide layer. So there you have it, a really easy way to set up your character. It doesn't fully use plugins like Duik, but it does make your life a little bit easier by just using it on some parts, in this case, the legs. I also showed you how to do the mouth shapes and how to switch them around with the drop-down menu. 
So in short, let us know what you think about this tutorial. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about Juic, Juic Angela or rigging in general. Be sure to join the Discord channel if you have more questions and I'd be happy to help you out if anything wasn't clear enough. And that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the future, I will actually show you how to do this in Adobe Animate as well, which is a lot simpler, but has up and downsides as well. And again, be sure to check out the links in the description. One of those links will be to Duick Angela and one of those links will be to this exact character model that you can try out. And if you sign up with our Patreon or join Creo, you can actually download this setup that I made on this tutorial as well, including this little animation. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.